Welcome to WKMTA, the Westgate Kids Missions Changing Agency. Woo! We have so much fun here. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm Agent C. Say hi, Agent B. Oh, hi. <laughs> and I'm Agent A with Agent BB and Double B. How are you guys doing? Uh, I have a feeling that today is going to be a really weird day today. I don't know why, but I have this feeling. Oh, my phone's good. Wait, I stopped my... What's this phone? Probably for me. Okay, I'll see what it is. Hello? Okay, hold for the chief. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Bye. Okay, speaker phone. Please continue to hold. Hello, agents. Is that, is that you? Yes. Why do you sound like me? I can make my voice sound like anyone in the agency. The problem is, until I fix the modulator, I don't have control on who I sound like. Okay, well, I mean, this is gonna be really weird and awkward having a, uh, talking to myself, but whatever. Well, okay, Chief, what's today's mission? When we choose Jesus and let him into our hearts and our lives, it changes us. We are no longer to live like slaves who are trapped and always doing the wrong things. We are to live like Jesus and be more like him. Your mission is to identify who Jesus is and how we can be like him. That's so awesome. I mean, no, I really want to live like Jesus. I think the Bible tells us a few of these things, right? Yes, but even Jesus' disciples who walked with him didn't immediately understand who Jesus was and what his mission was. Hearing and reading about someone doesn't necessarily mean that is what you believe they are. Yes, because I know a lot of times you can know about Jesus in the Bible, but you don't actually know Jesus. We have to first know Jesus before we can help others know who he is. I am excited to hear what you and all the agents have to say about Jesus. Okay, see you, Chief. Okay. Now, now what? Okay, we have our mission, but where are our other agents? Agent C? Agent A? Oh! Ah, I'm getting a phone call! I'm my shoot phone. Okay, let me answer it. Oh, Agent C, what? 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 I need to come over to the gadget lab right now. There's, there's an emergency. Okay, I got, gotta go. There's an agent emergency. See you guys later! What's the emergency? What's the emergency? Well, Agent A went in the gadget lab to get a disguise on and now she won't come out. What? Why is she coming out? Well, she's not stuck, I can tell you that. What? Like, what's... What? Stop disguise machine! Put me in a disguise and I... I, I nope, can't be seen, not coming out. Nope, nope, Really? Nope. Really? I mean, why don't you just go and change out of it? Well, it... Okay, I've tried. And it is keeping me in the same costume. Hmm. Is, it, is it really that bad? Yes, it is. It really is that bad. Well, Agent A, we have a mission we need to start doing. We really gotta go do this mission. Well, I can do the mission from in here. What's the mission? Um, our mission is to figure out who Jesus is and what he was like. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Someone have a Bible that can Thank you. Why don't you just come on out? Uh-uh. Ah. This is worse than the time you put me in that chicken head suit. and wore a sombrero. 
It, yeah. Is it seriously worse than that? I don't I mean, even I know don't, how it could be worse than that. I don't. That. Worse I, don't than that. I don't believe it. I, 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 I don't believe it. I cannot think in my head what would be worse than that chicken costume. Oh, believe me, it's worse. Okay. Ooh, ooh, I have what? something here in the Bible. Okay. okay. So we're talking about Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And I thought maybe it would be good to see, like, what did the disciples say that Jesus was? So in Matthew 16, mm -hmm. 16 through 19, we hear it from one of his disciples. Which one? Peter. Peter, okay. Or Simon, depending on... Simon, Peter. When you want to talk to him. Okay. So, here, here it's what it says. Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. He's talking to Jesus. And Jesus replied, You are blessed, Simon, son of John, because my Father in heaven has revealed this to you. You did not learn this from any human being. Now I say to you that you are Peter, which means rock, and upon this rock I will build my church, and all the powers of hell will not conquer it, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you forbid on earth will be forbidden in heaven, and whatever you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. That's really cool. But guys, um, now that we know what Peter says, how would we describe who Jesus is? Hmm, how would we? You know what we need to do? What? What do we need to do? We need to make a list. Okay, let's make oh, a list. Okay, agency, you're going to make a list? Yep. Okay, perfect. Well, let's write it all down. On the handy dandy board. Ooh. I need a pen. I can get it for you. Here, okay. Agent B, hand it to her. Thank you. Let's see. Jesus. And okay, go. Alright, so we have to describe Jesus. Who do we say he is? Um, he he was a guy. He's a he's a he's a guy. He's okay. A guy. That that's fair enough. I was thinking more like he's the son of God. He's the son of son God. Of God. But he also ha he probably had a beard. That's, yeah, that, that, yeah. Beard, okay. Jesus had a beard. Um, he was wise. Oh wise. yes, he was wise. He was, very he was also wise. very smart. Mm -hmm. Wise and smart. Wise and smart, yes he was. What else? He was very faithful. He would very. get away to pray to God all the time. He was very faithful. And even when he was tempted, he didn't he didn't fall into temptation, but he was faithful to God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he was gentle. 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 Very gentle. He was... I mean, ooh, 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 what, what, what? He was a miracle worker. Miracle worker. Miracle worker. It's a long worker. list. It is. I mean, is there any way, like, I don't think we would have an end to the things we could think of. I mean, like, let's keep going a little bit longer. He loved people. He loved people. Ooh, not only was he wise and smart, but he knew the scripture. Oh, yes. He knew the Bible. Well, at Front that time, back. would have been what Moses' writings, because they didn't have the New Testament at that time. It was just the Old Testament, so. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 I got one, I got one, got one. He was tough. Tough. You went through a lot. He's a tough guy. This list is getting really long, so I gotta kind of start another row here. Really? Yeah. Man, I wish I could see it from where I'm at. He was peaceful. peaceful. Like, like a lot of times he was peaceful. And you know what? Jesus did things with a purpose. Yes. He's very purposeful in everything he did. Purposeful. Man, guys, I don't think I don't think that we would be able to list everything. But the thing is, is we we know all of these things, but how how do we become like Jesus? We're, we're describing him, but do we have to come like what he looked like mm -hmm. or what he acts like, or do we have to look in deeper past that? I think it's deeper past that. I think that we need to see Jesus and be like Jesus and how he lived and acted and strived to be like him. Not like he has a beard or he had long hair or he had this color eyes, but we need to be like Jesus in his love and his peace and his faithfulness and his wisdom and smarts and his miracle working power and how he loved people and even knew the scripture and and how he was peaceful and personal and tough, you know, like those things, those are what we need to see Jesus. That's what we need to be like Jesus. Jesus had unconditional love. Like, that's what you were saying, right, Agent B? 
Yes, he has unconditional love. That means he loves you no matter what, no matter what you do or who you are, he loves you. Does he love us even if we looked a certain way? Yes, he loves us no matter what, no matter how you look, Jesus loves you. That's right. Uh, okay, I'll come out of the gadget. Yes, lab. okay. I'm confident that Jesus loves me, but okay, 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 I'll come out. Okay. Ready for this? Yes. Oh. I'm a kid! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, so oh. I, get... I found my back. <laughs> yeah. I get it was funny that okay, yeah. you're dressed as a kangaroo, but why did you feel like you why? couldn't come out here? Well, I mean, given our history with a certain criminal marsupial, I just didn't feel like it was very loyal to show up like the creature that wants to destroy it. I mean, come on, I even have a baby kangaroo. I mean, <laughs> let me ask you a few questions real quick. What's that? Uh, Agent A. Yes? Does God love what he made? Yes! Does God love kangaroos? Yes. Yes, remember, unconditional love. Does he love kangaroos even when one is really mean and angry? Mm, I see where you're going with this. And I, the answer is like, yes. Yes. Uh, are you going to act like crazy kangaroo? No. Well then, I don't see a problem here. Really? I mean, I, I guess... I, 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 I guess that's true. If I'm not going to act like crazy kangaroo, it's okay for me to just be a kangaroo because God made them too. Yeah. Well, well maybe, like we're talking about Jesus and everything, maybe I could go and be like Jesus. Maybe I can go to the costume machine and then I'll be like Jesus. Ah, uh, 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 hell. Looking and acting like are two different things. Oh. oh! Okay. I see? Yep. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it now. I get it, and I will. I will no longer be embarrassed to be a kangaroo. To be proud, proud of the kangarooness. I will embrace it. Embrace oh, yes. being a kangaroo. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Well. I think should we go report to Chief? We should report to Chief. We should go hop off and report to Chief, yeah, shall we? Yeah, let's go. Am I coming with you guys? Yes, of yes, course. Of course. Wait. Oh. oh, boy. Here we go, Ben. Oh, we got Chief after the kangaroo. Chief after the kangaroo. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got to call Chief. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. This is, oh, this is the wrong number. Oh. Okay, uh, that was the wrong number. Um, okay. You got your no chief's number? Oh, I mean, I make mistakes sometimes. Oh, I mean, I hopefully, sometimes. she sometimes. sounded sometimes. pretty mad. Hopefully I didn't interrupt anything. Okay, I'm gonna call chief. Hello, hello, is Debbie became TA chief. Perfect, chief. Okay, I got the wrong number at first, but okay. Yes, I know your number, chief. Oh, come on, okay, I'm gonna put you on speakerphone. Okay, Chief, I'm here with Agent C, and I'm here with Agent A, and Agent A is in a kangaroo costume. Excellent. Who do you say Jesus is, and how can we be like him? Okay, we learned about how Jesus and how amazing he is now. He did awesome and amazing things. Yes, and also that we don't need to take on his physical appearance, like, you know, his beard and everything. It might be a little hard, but... We can take on his love for others, his knowledge of scripture, and his purpose in reaching others mm. with the truth. Yeah, and when we have a personal relationship with Jesus, it's it's actually different for each one of us because yeah. it's personal and it doesn't have to look exactly the same. But what's beautiful is that Jesus is the same person. It's just the way we relate with him is different. Even though we are different, we know that Jesus is the same for all time. He is loving, wise, gentle. He is healer and a teacher. I could go on and on and never get to the end of the list. Oh, that's true. I mean, we saw how Peter called Jesus the Messiah in Matthew 16, verse 16 through 19. Messiah, King, Savior, Son of God, Friend, the list is truly endless. The good news is that we will always continue to grow and learn firsthand the mission of Jesus and his love for others. So, wouldn't you say that we've accomplished the mission? Is Agent A dressed like a kangaroo? Yes, but this is the kind of mission I hope you'll continue to do. Agents, good job. I look forward to next week's mission. 
See you, Chief. Awesome. See you, Bye, Chief. Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is really weird that he sounded just like you. I yeah. mean, it that threw me was off a little bit. Weird. I mean, it's like in my head when you talk to yourself. Talking <laughs> your voice, like I was in my head talking to myself, but it was out loud, and I was like, <gasps> so weird. So the question now is, is it going to be Chief's voice that's in your head? Oh. oh. I don't know. That would be weird. <laughs> well. But I, I love how today, I mean, I know I struggled with this whole kangaroo look thing, but really knowing Jesus's identity isn't what he looked like, isn't exactly like what was his role in society. It was, what was his heart? What mm -hmm. did he do? How did he serve God, who is his father? How did he serve others? I mean, he was one of the first people to heal the people that were thought like untouchable. And that's, we are to be like Jesus. We, when we bring him into our lives, we need to be like him and be willing to heal, be willing to help, be willing to even sometimes set up healthy boundaries for people so that they can live well and in safe and in whole lives. Yeah. It's crazy how knowing someone isn't just knowing what's on the outside, it's knowing what's in the inside. Mm -hmm. And with the Holy Spirit in us, that that's really cool how different yet similar we all are. That's yeah, crazy. that's really, really awesome. Is it Agent A? It really is. Mm -hmm. All right, Okay. since I am dressed like a kangaroo, I claim the right to pray for today. Okay, she's you. earned the right to pray. I mean, I would love okay. to pray, but she's earned it. Okay. <laughs> all right, dear God, we just give thanks to you this day, and I ask that you continue to show us who you are, who Jesus is, and how we can be like Jesus in a world that has darkness in it, how we can be the light just like Jesus is in this world. I give thanks to you and I ask that you bless all of our agents, that they would continue to press into their Bibles and into their community as they learn who you are and how much you love them. Through that, discovering more about themselves. I give thanks to you and just, again, praise you for your goodness and your great love and everything that you've done for us. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Oh man, today has been quite an interesting day. It's been quite an interesting day, which reminds me that we have an interesting day coming up on July 4th of Ooh. 4th of July. 4th of July. On a Sunday. So that means on that day we're going to have no kids church downstairs. We're going to have no oh. online video. But join us upstairs for one service in the sanctuary in person and then go out and have some fun. Enjoy the 4th of July celebrating our country, the United States of America. And something else is coming up. What? VBA! Oh, VBA! Yes. July 12th. Yes. And oh, that's right around the corner. Right <gasps> the oh, so my word. Close. And we are just a little bit excited. That's like a week after the 4th of July. It is it a is. week after the 4th oh, of July. Oh, that's coming so up. we need to get everyone registered. So yes. if you want to okay. come, make sure you go get registered for BBA mm -hmm. yep. and come show up on July 12th through the 15th to have a lot of fun. Awesome. We want to see us. you there. Yes. Here yep. in person. Right here. <laughs> right here. Right here. All right. Well, it's been a good job day. I'm going to train for the Olympics. <laughs> so I don't know about you, but I'll see you. I'm going to go do that too. Bye.